Yesterday, Walsh told CNN's Wolf Blitzer that he does think that Duckworth is a true hero, but that he doesn't quote, or that that doesn't quote, command our vote. Congressman Walsh joins me live now from Chicago. Sir, you are taking it on the chin for this. Are you regretting making those comments? Oh, God, no, Ashley. Look, this is what happens when you've got a congressman that's always out in front of people talking. Look, at every, you know, those comments were made a week ago at a two-hour town hall with 400 people talking about Obamacare. And like I do at the beginning of every one of my town halls, I introduce the heroes in our presence, the veterans. Look, I, 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 I'm not going to back you down, this Ashley, is just a from slip up? anything. Are you saying it's just a slip-up because you, you're no, no, out in Ashley, the public a lot? No, Ashley, this wasn't a slip up. I don't regret anything I said. Understand me. Every man and woman who's worn the uniform is a hero in my book. I've said that thousands of times. I've called Tammy Duckworth a hero hundreds of times. This is a manufactured issue because when I'm out there, hey, look, this is the lay of the land out there now. When I'm out there, I'm being taped by Tammy Duckworth's people. They are manufacturing it this doesn't crisis. Matter who's, because you know, I've got to be honest with you, sir. Ashley, it doesn't matter who's running the tape. It does not matter who's got the tape. No, it, we hey, have Ashley, the tape. I know and it doesn't the, matter. Hold on and, a second. And, and, and Ashley, you said I don't. Like this, Ashley, you told Politico, sir. Ashley, you told Politico this. What else has she done? Female, wounded veteran, eh? And I'm paraphrasing. Eh, I'm assuming that E H H No, Ashley, Ashley. What is that? Ashley, Ashley. Ashley, you are paraphrasing. I didn't say ah. Eh. What I said was she's a war hero, but you know what? She's running for Congress. So, like, I don't know about you, Ashley, but hopefully voters think, like every other candidate for Congress, tell us where you stand on issues. And for well, some reason, Ashley, she's done that. I'm not sure why you haven't that. seen that. No, she, she hasn't, I've got Ashley. a list here just no, of some Ashley, of her recent no, comments. Do you hasn't. want to hear it, Congressman? Do you want to hear it? Or do you just want to rail on me? Hey, Ashley. I've got the list here. No, she Ashley, talked about the Ashley. Supreme Court health care hearing in June 28th. She talked at length about uh, the contentious climate in Washington on May 2012. She talked about health care reform on 2012. She talked about the economy, food stamps, Pell Grants, student loans. Shall I continue? Ashley, why do you Ashley, suggest Ashley. she doesn't do anything hey, other than talk about her service. Ashley, Ashley, before just t reading all about her talking points and being there for her, give me a second to talk, all right? She spends a lot of time talking about her war service. I've asked her to debate me monthly. She won't. I've asked her to get directly in front of voters with me. She won't. She will not get in front of voters and take questions directly from voters. Because she's a war hero, Ashley, that demands our respect. But that doesn't demand our vote. What demands our vote is when you tell us, here's who I am, here's who it I am. It is not respectful What's not for respectful, you to say, Ashley? now I'm running against a woman who, my God, that's all she talks about. She did serve for 20 Ashley? years. She comes from, let me finish, Ashley? sir. She comes from a military family. She did lose both of her legs fighting in Iraq. She has done, and I do have a list because I am your opponent in this interview, a list of things that she has actually no, accomplished <laughs> for the government with regard Ashley, to Veterans Affairs. She my... served in Veterans Affairs. Let, let, well, let me put it to you this way. You hey, ran Ashley, a campaign, Ashley, sir. No, I'm not finished asking my question. You ran well, a Ashley, campaign. Look, Ashley, we're talking I'm about not sit, I'm not going to sit here in if you don't excuse let me In 1996... Talk, I'm asking you a question. You ran a campaign in 1996 against Sidney Ashley, Yates. Ashley, you're going to go back to 1996? Yes, I am. We were running for the U.S. House of Representatives. Well, that's ridiculous. Hey, Do Ashley, you want to hear this, this campaign not? is about Obamacare. No, I don't want to hear about 96. I want to hear, Ashley, the Sydney voters want to hear about right now. Hey, Ashley, years the old, voters want to hear, and you the voters want to know what. And you lit a birthday cake with 87 candles on it <laughs> to show how old he was oh, in an attempt Ashley. to slam his age. Is that respectful no. of your opponent? Ashley. Ashley, it was simply to say happy birthday to him. Hey, look, Ashley, too many Republicans and Democrats stay in Washington too darn long. If you're 80 or 90 years old and you never come home to your district, you shouldn't be a member of Congress.
make sense, no? Look, every candidate for Congress has to be held to the same standard. We all come from different places. This country is about to fall off a financial cliff, Ashley, and what voters want to know is, what are you going to do about all this debt? Where are you on Obamacare? What are you going to do to help small businesses? But Get I in front of voters and give them the in decency. Front of voters about Obamacare, and yet you're Ashley, going out in front of Ashley, she's not in front of voters. And saying all she does hey, is Ashley, talk about her record as a war Ashley, hero. And when that was is the last life. time, Ashley, you saw her directly in front of voters? When was the last time you saw her in an open well, public forum in front of voters? Well, I'm not on the campaign trail for when everybody that, who Ashley? is actually no. running, but I can read up on it, and I'm actually very <laughs> no, curious as to why you No, but you did plenty of research for Ashley, you did plenty because of research for her, Because I am challenging you, you, sir, Look, in your contention that you say she talks of nothing Ashley, else. Ashley. She does speak of Ashley, other things. Ashley, yes, she was on TV a month and a half yes, ago. Ashley, you ready? She was on TV a month and a half ago. She was asked a question about gay marriage. Do you know what she talked about? Her time at Walter Reed. Look, I'll say it again. I have respect for her and her service. My thoughts and prayers go out to her like they do every wounded warrior. But that doesn't demand our vote. Ashley, if that's what it took to be to get your vote, John McCain, another hero, would be our president. Well, let Come me on. ask you about this that. This election is about what we're going to do about these issues. You suggested that the real heroes don't talk about their service. I'm actually working with Dave right now, who's just to the left of my camera, who's a Vietnam War vet. Mm -hmm who disagrees with you. Not everybody talks about their service or doesn't talk about their service because of honor. Sometimes it's just really difficult to talk about your service. And sometimes a lot I, of vets are very I proud agree. to talk about their service. So who, sir, are you to suggest for a moment that no one should talk about their service because it's not honorable? No, that's not what I said, Ashley. That's not what I said, Ashley. I said most veterans I know don't talk about their service or the combat they saw. It's part of what makes those who served so noble. And you know, like I know, most veterans tell you that. But who are you, you to suggest that that makes them noble? It makes them noble if they serve. Have you served? Have you no, served? No, no, no. Ashley, Have Ashley, you served? no, that's my opinion. Ashley, no, that's my opinion. Have to you me, served? that's what makes our, Ashley, I'll say it again, no. But, Ashley, that's then my opinion. Then who are you that's to suggest to me. what a veteran's mind is when he or she decides whether or not to talk about his or her service? Oh, Ashley, I'm confused. Did you serve in Iraq? Did I you have, serve I, in I've Iraq, I've just Ashley? become a citizen of this country, and you know what? I would like to. Ashley, I, I just, I am perplexed do you have, by how you no, is it, suggest that is it, it's no, not let me finish, Ashley, to, to talk about your let service. Let me finish. Let me finish a thought. You didn't serve in Iraq. I didn't serve in Iraq. Does that mean you and I don't have the right to have an opinion about the war in Iraq? I would never suggest Can I that have I know opinion? why my colleague does or does not speak about his Vietnam service. No, Ashley, never. you didn't ask you. You didn't answer. You didn't answer that question. I answered your question. Do you have a right to have an and opinion you are the about whether we should have been the in comments. Iraq? I did not make the comments I'm about Ashley. Tammy Duckworth, and I am asking you, when you say Look, that it's not honorable to talk about your service out on the campaign trail because no, it's Ashley, more honorable to do it the Ashley. way John McCain did, who are you to suggest why John McCain did not talk about his service? Do you know that it's just out of honor, or do you know that perhaps he does not like to talk about it because it's difficult? You know, like I know, that most veterans, because they are noble, and by the way, Ashley, that's my opinion, just my opinion, you may disagree. They don't talk about their service, and they don't talk about their combat. And you know the ironic thing about this whole conversation? They don't consider themselves heroes. That's for our benefit. I recognize every man and woman that served as a hero for our benefit, so we never forget them. They don't call themselves heroes, Ashley. That's the beautiful thing about our veterans, all of them. Don't you for agree, the record, Ashley? I have never heard Tammy don't you agree? call herself a hero. For the record, I have never heard her call herself a hero, but I have heard many other people call her a hero. And I'll You've call heard her a hero. Many she other, gave her limbs. Ashley, and her arm for Ashley, our service. I think she has a right to say so on the trail. She I is a hero. So. It's been her, she it's is been her a entire hero. life of service. And her, and her father was a veteran, too, of two wars. <laughs> so she's lived it. So why can't she talk Ashley, about her life experience? Have you, heard, have, you heard, have you heard any veteran call themselves a hero? Have you heard any of them?
you were Can suggesting you that? that you know what we could go back and forth on this but I'll tell you one thing no sir. have you Ashley, I don't want you to suggest you. for a minute that because you're the Republican and she's the Democrat that I'm taking her side, as you suggested earlier. When I go up against someone no, in an Ashley. interview, I play the adversary. And in this, I am your adversary. Hey, and I'm also question, very proud Ashley. of any veteran service, including my colleagues standing just to the left of my camera. And I don't think it's for any of us to determine Ashley, why or why not heard, they speak of their service. Have you heard any veteran call themselves a hero? Good we, God, no, that. because they don't. We're beyond that. Ha and Tammy Duckworth did but not call herself a hero But you can't answer that, either. can you? you? I answered it. Tammy but Duckworth did not her. call herself Ashley. a hero. Speaking about your service does not suggest you're calling yourself a hero. It is a I pride. I her a and hero. Something that someone should be able to speak of. And you know, I wish more Vietnam veterans felt like they could get out on a cam campaign trail and speak about their service. But they didn't feel like they could because they didn't get the, uh, the reaction that they should have when they came home. And that's a shame. So I don't think Ashley, that we should be suggesting I've that one, Tammy one, should be quiet. No, no. Ash, Ashley, I call her a hero. Let me ask you one more question. She, but don't should disdain she get her campaigning. Because of that, should she get elected because of that service? Yes or you no? You know what? She should, should she? get elected if her voters like the fact that she has a list of accomplishments when it comes to tax credits for Illinois businesses. She established the first Veterans Caucus. Yes, she started Ashley, up a 24-hour Don't you. Stop. 24-hour yes. crisis hotline when for veterans. To, she created the Vets Cash Grant Program. To she established issues. the nation's first health issue insurance program for vets. She created the GI Loan Ashley, for Heroes Program. But you said all she does is talk about it. These are when actually it, accomplishments. When it comes, when it comes to, there you go. When it comes to issues, that's why we should elect people. So I'm taking it that again, you don't think someone who served automatically should get elected when they're running for Congress. It comes to what you've done and where you stand on these important issues of our time. And right now, Ashley, I can tell you in our district that we're running for, people are losing their homes, they're struggling to get by every day, and they're unemployed. What voters want to know is, what is Duckworth or Walsh going to do about those things? That's what I'm trying to engage her in, and, and I wish she would join me in front of voters. And the voters will decide, and they will use character voters. as Absolutely. well. And I thank you very much for being a part Absolutely, of the conversation. Ashley. Joe Walsh, you're a worthy adversary. I hope we get to talk again at another time, sir.